Hello, hello, hello. Hi, hi everyone. Hola, hola a todos. Bienvenidos. Welcome. Welcome to a new live stream. And today we're going to talk about hot peppers. And we are going to talk about interesting facts about them. Um, but before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time we live stream. Also, you can visit smlessons.com for more free Spanish lessons to download free stuff as well, free crossword puzzles. And uh, I think that's what we have for free on the website. Uh, but yeah, all the links are in the video description down below. And I want to give a big, 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 big shout out to our members, our tequila member, Linda Lead. Thank you, Linda. The tequila is delicious. Also, big shout out to our Cerveza members, KS and William Lopez. Uh, thank you, guys. The Cerveza is delicious as well. And another big shout out to our Cafecito members, Stella Sabatini and Kit Pearson. Thank you guys for the coffee. It's also delicious. I love it. And uh, thank you for all the support. If you want me to give you a shout out and for more perks, you can click on the join button down below just to check out the memberships that we have on this channel that supports this channel a lot. So if you get a chance, please take a look at them. And if you like why, what we do, uh, please just consider getting one. No pressure though. <laughs> but if you can, that will be great. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, give this video a like. That helps us a lot as well. Here with me is the Mysterious Voice. How are you, Mysterious Voice? I'm good. Tired? No. No? no? Not really. You good? Yeah. Ready for today's topic? Yeah. For tonight's topic? Uh, actually, it was kind of your idea. Yeah. You you mentioned sauces, hot sauces, and I started thinking about facts about hot peppers. Uh, besides them being delicious, do you know anything interesting about it? Without or with about them without reading my notes. <laughs> no, let's leave no? it to the. To the notes yeah <laughs> uh, by the way guys we're live streaming so you can use the live chat if you want to say hola or if you want to I don't know just to comment or comment about what we're talking about as well or if you have any questions as well so yeah uh, so anything that you would like to say about hot peppers in general <laughs> um. They're great. I mean, they're great. I used to not eat like this. them. Yeah, I, I, there's a thing that I keep hearing mm. that people say as they get older, they can't eat spicy stuff as much. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's been the opposite so far, at least. Because I used to not be able to eat spicy stuff at all when I was younger, and now really? I have like no issue. Really? Yeah. But um, a lot of people say, you must be crazy to eat spicy food. Why would you like to eat something that is painful even, right? Some yeah. people think that. So what's your your experience with um, sauces, hot peppers, and why do you like them? I think it depends because I'm like, for me, it's the taste. The taste. So like, it's not only the it's spiciness. Not, no, the spiciness... Because you can go overboard with the spiciness mm -hmm. and then have like a sauce that has no flavor and it's just spicy and then it's just kind of yeah. a waste, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. I think it's just having a combination of like spiciness Spicy. and good flavor mm -hmm. just adds like a whole other... Yeah. Like... Level. D yeah, like a whole other dimension, dimension. to the meal. Exactly. You know, that you, would be, you wouldn't have and it just... It enhances the meal, yeah. the, the eating experience, and the mouthfeel. The mouthfeel. <laughs> the mouth <Yeah>. <laughs> I love that. 
Yeah, for sure. I love spicy food. I love hot sauces. I love sometimes just having hot peppers in any form. Like I could eat them fresh, just the whole thing, just little by little biting the, the hot pepper. Mm -hmm. uh, or I like them pickled. I like hot sauces, any kind, any kinds of hot sauces. I love even like make homemade hot sauces. Like I, I love that. I love that. Uh, but anyways, uh, I see, I see um, some comments on the live chat. Uh, KS, welcome KS. Bienvenido KS. Um, KS is saying, Buenas noches, astronauta de azúcar. Parece que te sientes bien. Porque sé que la enfermedad no es consuelo, sino miseria. Ah, uh, yes, I feel much better. Thank you so much, KS, for uh, just uh, mentioning that uh, or commenting on that. Uh, I had a, a rough weekend, I would say, and uh, I wasn't feeling too well. As I said before, it's not COVID, so don't worry about that. I, I'm, I'm COVID free, but yeah, I was feeling unwell, but I'm back and back. I'm feeling much, much better. Thank you, KS. Uh, William Lopez. Hi, William. Bienvenido. Okay. Aha, aha, aha. I see some Portuguese. I'm going to try to read that. Um, hola. O hola. Hola. Boa, boa noite. Boa noite. <laughs> Uh, well, that's uh, the, a short Portuguese phrase. I assume it says hello, uh, good night or good evening. Uh, so that's that's awesome. Uh, also, William says, I've started to get into spicy food recently, even more after my smell and taste sense got affected due to the virus thing. Whoa. Hmm. William. <laughs> that that's is good. That, yes. Uh, oh man, that sucks. That sucks that you you got you got the virus. Like that's yeah. terrible. I, I'm glad you're. I hope you're feeling better. I I hope you're you're doing better. Yeah, for sure. And yeah, that's so crazy that when you're sick with that, if you have that, the smell and the sense and of taste, smell yeah. and taste are yeah, pretty much gone. Up people online that had it and they were just like eating onions and onions oh like my god onions spoonful <laughs> of like cinnamon you know like all of this crazy stuff that normally like wow you'd be that's suffering crazy. and just nothing nothing yeah nothing that's crazy yeah what would you eat i mean knock on wood if you had that problem i would say garlic yeah, probably garlic. I don't just know. Just raw garlic. Be, I think I'd just be or like habaneros. I, I think I'd be just too bothered with not having, a, not being able to taste uh, it. I think that because I love yeah. garlic. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Thank you for sharing, William. Uh, okay, so KS also says tenía alimentos con pimienta en él. Okay, so you had food with pepper in pepper in in the food something like that uh, pepper is also very delicious yeah. if you have a, a lot of pepper it can't be spicy yeah but right it, yeah see like even that when i was a kid i remember like my mm. dad used to put pepper in his soup really yeah and i tried and it was just like too much for me but now mm -hmm when i eat like certain stuff i will we need pepper load it up with pepper <laughs> like it'll be just delicious black yeah pepper yeah. <laughs> is delicious and it's crazy because also uh different countries love spicy food like mm -hmm. i know japan has wasabi right yeah. and that's an intense heat yep. also south korea they like spicy food yeah. i believe india as well yeah, they they have the the curry they no the really spicy the super spicy the super hot pepper mm. 
Oh, like the ghost pepper? Ghost pepper, right? Oh, yeah, I yeah. think so. I, th I don't know if, if ghost pepper is from there mm. specifically. Um, in America as well, they, they enjoy yeah. having like hot sauces, hot peppers and so on. So it's a more, how do you say, a more global thing to eat yeah. something spicy. And more people like that. So that's, that's amazing. Uh, so I see William says you start to acquire some resistance to it. Yeah, that's true. I think as yeah, like the more totally. you, the more you eat it, you can kind of you get used to it. Yeah, if if you would like to eat spicy food and you don't know how, the best way start small. Yeah, start start small. Get small amounts of either hot sauce or peppers, and then obviously you have to eat it with food because, I mean. My way to eat spicy is I add spicy to the food, not like I don't eat it separately. Sometimes I do, but usually I add the spiciness yeah. to this to the to whatever I'm eating. Yeah. Or mix it, right? If you're chewing, if you're biting your <laughs> if you're biting hot pepper a uh, hot pepper, then eat something first, like put something in your mouth first, like any kind of food, no spicy food, and then bite bite that no. that hot pepper yeah little by little it's tricky it's tricky but it's possible <laughs> for sure okay so um i believe that's ken 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 is on the live chat um yeah yeah comida picante comida picante the best <laughs> Hola Ken, welcome. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, uh, Ken says hola, hola William and hola Sugar Astronaut. Hello, hello Ken. Also, K Semi Nomadic is on the live chat. Buenas noches, buenas noches, K. Welcome. Uh, do you eat spicy food? <laughs> uh, Ken says ghost pepper. Yeah, ghost pepper. Man, that's I think like the craziest. Yeah. pepper right i don't know if i i don't know if i'd eat that I'd it's too much it, you think. tried it uh, no i would oh my god i think i don't know i'd like to try things so i mean i think mm -hmm. i'd give it a shot just to see i mean my gigantic glass had it, of water had it in the hot sauce <laughs> that we have it has like that's like the no it's the carolina reapers are now when i think Oh, you or had that, right? Cool? I think it's both. Man. Yeah, the one, the one hot sauce yeah, that we have. Crazy. Uh, the, crazy the, stuff. The Momento de Muerte. That the one I Momento believe has. I think the first two ingredients are Carolina Reapers oh and Ghost goodness. Peppers. But it wasn't that bad. No, it's bad. It's bad. That one is really spicy. I tried it. And it wasn't that. It you was a little spicy, but I, I just put a tiny bit, <laughs> tiny, I, I just a drop. Yeah, that one is really <laughs> spicy. <laughs> Okay, I love it. it's really good. Nice that's awesome. Too. That's awesome. Okay, so um, K, oh, what's it? Uh, K says los caribeños también. So people from el Caribe, the Caribbean, mm -hmm. they also eat spicy food. Yeah. That's great. That's awesome. That's awesome. Also in Peru. They have hot sauces too. Mm. I believe. You know I the believe. The funny thing in Serbia, I don't think we had hot sauce. No hot sauce. Oh, that's no, sad. we that's had. Sad. Like, it's kind of sad. Like we had like peppers, like spicy peppers uh -huh. that you would just eat with your food. But I don't remember spicy peppers. I don't remember spicy like what kind of peppers? Like, um, like if you look at the background, the thin little green ones, uh, okay, okay. like that I kind see. of stuff. I see. But and like red uh -huh. ones, like that too. But I don't ever remember, like Tabasco sauce really? or hot sauce. I mean, might have been just because when I was there, it was still like just on the en end of like communism and stuff, oh, so we boy. didn't get a lot of Western uh -huh. influences, right? You know, right. so that might I be remember why, but. Maybe later you can tell the story about jeans that your mom told you oh, about. Oh, that was that Russia, though. Yeah, well, we can was, say that yeah. at the end. We can say that. It's a good story. Okay. Anyways, so guys, let's. I love that you are sending comments. I love that. I love that. 
Um, <laughs> okay, so KS says, or Ken, Ken says, yes, ghost pepper is from East India. That's not Ken, that's Rishi. Rishi. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Rishi, Rishi. Uh, it, there is someone else that has similar kind of uh, letters, you know, and uh, and that person told me, oh, yeah, never mind. Yeah, I never mind. I, I, I'm completely confused. Rishi. Yeah. Let's remember that Rishi. Sorry about that, Rishi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. But yeah, okay, so ghost pepper is from East India. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, KS says, one time I made sauce with onions, herbs, scotch, so bon scotch bonnet, bonnet, bonnet really and pepper. Too. Scotch bonnet pepper. I it's haven't really heard of that. I've heard of it. I've never had them. It's a really spicy pepper. Ooh, it sounds, sounds good. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, okay, so... Mm, Rishi says, if you want, if you want to enjoy spicy food, either start small or start when you are small. I started when I was small. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess, That's yeah, a you great kinda, advice. You get used to it as you're... Yeah. Guys, I had like, I also started really small, <laughs> very young. I started um, having a lot of hot sauces when I was like, 12 or less uh, I used to love uh, you know like potato chips and, and those kinds of uh, cheap snacks and then I would just put a lot of Valentina I don't know if you have heard of that sauce that's a very popular sauce in Mexico and oh my god it was pretty much a soup because I would put <laughs> so much sauce and I kind of regret it because I had issues with my stomach that yeah. young. So Jeez. you have to take it easy because <laughs> damn, like that can go terribly yeah. wrong. Yeah, I just, yeah, we just yep. didn't have, as far as I remember, yeah. hot sauce. It was, yeah, just peppers and then like pepper, like the paprika, the old paprika, paprika. we had. Yeah, that's yeah. great. That's awesome. Okay, guys. So let's let's start with the <laughs> with the facts. I, I we can read more of your awesome comments um, in between facts and yeah. and whatnot. You can comment on the facts as well. So that that's that's awesome. I mean, I'm pro spicy food. Like I love spicy food. Okay, so let's look at the first fact about hot peppers. Did you know that there are thousands of types of peppers? Do you know that? No, I, I know <laughs> there's a lot. Can you I... can you name at least five hot peppers? Well, just in the comments, they pretty much named. <laughs> well, <laughs> but not not those the, ones. I can say I can say uh, I'm gonna try to say five, yeah. and I'm Mexican, so. Ooh, let's see if I can can do this. Okay, so jalapeño, jalapeño. That's a, a mm. most the most common pepper. Jalapeño, habanero, serrano, poblano, and chile de árbol. So that's like a, it's a tiny little pepper. I think mm. chile de árbol, and uh, it's so 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 spicy. In 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 Mexico, the smallest peppers mm -hmm. or hot peppers are the spiciest so it it's so crazy it's so crazy okay so can you name <laughs> i kind of <laughs> said all of them that yeah, you knew pretty much, i mean yeah. that you know as well okay so let's see let's see um there are thousands of peppers guys uh, chili peppers are so common around the world and the crazy thing is that the you know hot peppers the plant itself or just pepper plants are capable of mutating very quickly and as a result there are a ton of varieties so there are over 140 different kinds growing in Mexico alone Wow. So 140 different peppers growing in Mexico alone. So um, it's crazy because out of all the thousand 
kind of peppers that are out there we only eat from one group the capsicum annum <laughs> that is the most common group of hot peppers and peppers i believe peppers in general uh, it also um you can get hot peppers yeah mild and hot peppers and also we're including bell peppers the you know the big ones that yeah. look they're so like no spicy at all they're not spicy at all and obviously well jalapenos as well so yes what do you think about that yeah the because you said we only mostly eat from one kind what are the other ones one used family for? Honestly, I don't know. I think there's some um, families like I can't pronounce the num the names, but I didn't find any more information about what they do with those peppers. Maybe mm. uh, the most common common ones are the ones that I told you about. Yeah. But I don't know. Like there's so many different countries that have different kinds of peppers and hot peppers that we don't even know. Mm. So, yeah, that's crazy, don't you think? Yeah. That's crazy. So, let's see what you guys are saying. Uh-huh. Let's see. Let's see. So, KS says, in Barbados, there is sauce, a sauce called pepper, pepper sauce? Hmm. I wonder if it's like any like specific pepper, pe peppers black pepper. in it or like, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting, huh? That's interesting. Aha, uh -huh. so, uh, what else? What else, guys? Can you name five peppers? Five kind of peppers that you know from your country or from any anywhere else? Do you guys know? Aha. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> Rishi is saying, uh, sugar astronaut. Spanish Medis at Spanish Medis Sugar Astronaut. Which pepper would you advise to spice up my relationship? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Do you have any, any comment on that? Um, I don't know about which pepper, but uh, The El Yucateco, El Yucateco sauce, black habanero sauce. I would recommend. Um, yeah, so not, it might not spice up your relationship, but it will spice up your life. You know what? Something really sexy that I remember from a movie. I think the movie is called Como Agua para Chocolate, or I, something like that. I might be confused, but there is a scene where there the two people mm. you know dating or i don't even know the the couple uh were alone and then some of them or uh, some of i don't know which 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 one but one of them uh had a hot pepper i think it was cut in a cut mm -hmm. in half and then they rub the pepper on the lips and then they kissed that that must be painful yeah that doesn't sound do you remember fun. this guys do you remember this movie? I don't movie? know what movie that is. I don't know if it was with um, Antonio Banderas. I don't... And I remember... Never heard of it. I'm trying to remember the, the girl's name. Uh, uh, I think the movie was Como Agua para Chocolate. And yeah, I, I remember that scene. And it's, I think it's a beautiful, <laughs> romantic, sexy thing to do. <laughs> Just to... <laughs> Suffer <laughs> that together. Can, that, <laughs> that can go like terribly wrong. If, <laughs> if the other person can't handle the yeah. spiciness. Because... The first thing, the first rule when eating spicy food is to not touch your lips. Yeah. Do not don't like touch your face. don't touch your face. Try not to get the hot pepper on your lips because it's a terrible pain. It's so spicy. It's like you feel so hot, like burning hot 
on that in on that area. Yeah. So, but I remember that scene. So, my advice for Rishi is if your partner can handle spiciness, do the thing about <laughs> do the thing about you know the just rub a hot pepper on your partner's your partner's lips and then. <laughs> kiss i don't know maybe that's gonna spice up your relationship maybe <laughs> uh but anyways that was so so funny thank you rishi okay so i see rishi also saying apart from peppers india produces 78 percent of world spices fun fact that's crazy that is that's amazing and i totally believe it Oh, because yeah, yeah i know indian uh, indian food i mean it that that food is delicious it's so flavorful and oh man like yeah yeah that's amazing thank you for sharing rishi uh <laughs> william lopez says let me try bell pepper wow that's hot pepper <laughs> i i i pepper <laughs> and so on just kidding i'm new to this world haha <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah but i think your mom can't tolerate no, like tomatoes are spicy tomatoes for her like tomatoes how are tomatoes I mean, no, I mean, just ketchup <laughs> ketchup yeah, is too spicy like, that's hilarious that's funny yeah she can't do Man, too spicy at all that's funny uh, <laughs> yeah i mean you start little by little for sure uh <laughs> Okay, uh, Rishi says she can handle all kinds of picante as she is from East India. Then you gotta do that. You gotta <laughs> you gotta get your lips on fire and then kiss. <laughs> yeah, that's my advice. You can let me know what happens. Uh, you know, when you try, that would be amazing to know if you <laughs> you actually try that. <laughs> that's amazing. Okay, so. Uh, mm -hmm. William says, I know that in Brazil, we have a pepper called Lady's Finger Pepper. I think I've heard of I've heard, yeah, that. Yeah, it sounds familiar. It sounds familiar. That, that sounds interesting as well. Okay, so let's, let's look at the next fact. The next fact is, do you know that only mammals are sensitive to spiciness? Did you know this? No, I it's a little crazy just mammals so this is something clever because in nature if you um, if you have the plants out there right you have uh, a bunch of jalapenos growing mm -hmm. happily and then uh, obviously we can feel the spiciness yeah. but the clever thing here is that Birds cannot hmm. taste spiciness or any <laughs> any like they don't they don't feel that fire mm -hmm. and it's something clever because when they do not have that you know ability to to taste spiciness they can spread the seeds yeah, to anywhere yeah that's true so that's something very very important that happens in nature so yeah only mammals that i think it's um us right yeah. uh all the mammals all mammals can you name more cats yeah cats dogs okay. yeah cats dogs <laughs> yeah so that is crazy that is crazy um other than that i don't think um we will talk about something else related to nature and you know peppers but i find interesting that only mammals can taste that yeah. so if a bird is eating accidentally some hot pepper nothing's gonna happen so do you remember that uh, i sent you uh something on instagram it was a little budgie eating jalapeno yeah and I was like, no, little Baji, don't eat jalapeno. That's so spicy <laughs> for you. And I'm like, well, the bird didn't feel a thing. Yeah, that's, <laughs> Isn't yeah, it that that's crazy? Interesting, yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. 
Okay, what do you think about this, guys? Um, so, um, where was I? Oh, William Lopez says, Dedo de mo Moca. I don't know how to... I see a letter that I don't know. Uh, but Dedo de Moca. That sounds interesting. That's the... The pepper. the pepper that he was talking about. Uh, William says, mm, did I know about the mammifero thing? Yeah, by the way, mammals in Spanish are called mammiferos. Mammiferos. Uh, but yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting. And I feel sad that birds or snakes and, you know, reptiles can't enjoy this spiciness <laughs> that we can. <laughs> Okay, let's look at the next fact. The next fact is, did you know that there are parts of the peppers hotter than others? Did you know that, this? No, I didn't. Did you know that you can actually use this uh, when eating a pepper? This is important when eating a pepper, I would mm -hmm. say, because some people think that the seeds are the spicy, mm -hmm. the spiciest part of a pepper. But actually, the closer you get to the top of a pepper, the spicier it gets. Now, is the top the part where the stem is? or is the Yes, okay. that's correct. The bottom is the pointy thing okay. and the top is... You know, mm -hmm. the stem and all of that. So when you bite a uh, hot pepper, you won't feel much of the spiciness if you bite only the tip, you know, the uh, bottom tip. But the more you eat, the spicier the, it gets. The, the, the spicier yeah. it gets. So yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah. So the that. seeds actually, they do not have any spiciness. Uh, there are some veins that come from the top to the bottom. Mm -hmm. And usually uh, in Mexican cuisine, if you prepare uh, poblano peppers, they remove those veins so you don't get the spiciness, uh, too much yeah. spiciness. Uh, so that part is very spicy. Uh, but now you know guys if you want to eat hot peppers <laughs> you know that the closer you get to the stem the spicier is gonna get <laughs> yeah, <that's right>. <laughs> <laughs> did you know yeah. this guys did you know this aha uh -huh. so ks says mi tia usa pimienta de cayena molida con miel para resfriados la las pimientas a la especia su relación son divertidísimas. Oh, okay. So actually, actually, KS, I have a fun fact about um, about cold. About if you get a cold or something like that. Yeah, I, I'm gonna tell you that maybe hot peppers can help a little bit with that. <laughs> so. Thank you for sharing, KS. Um, Rishi says, I knew that fact. Lo sé. Yeah, that fact is crazy. It's crazy. Let's look at fact number four. Fact number four. Do you know that peppers have been domesticated for a long time? I, I could have guessed, but... <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this is true guys Peppers have been Around for a long 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 time. So There's information that says That peppers might have been one of the first plants to have been domesticated and chili peppers seeds were found 60,000 years ago oh, wow. in Peru and Mexico. So, man. That's a long time there. That six, wow. It's 6,000. 6,000, sorry. Did I say oh, 60? This is 60. Sorry. 6,000 years Still, ago. That's a long ass time. Yeah. So, that is crazy. They used to use 
peppers, you know, like add peppers to their food like 6,000 years ago. Isn't it that something? Yeah. That's crazy. But what do you guys That's like... what do you guys think of this? I think it's crazy that peppers in general have been around for a long long time i think that's amazing and that's why it's 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 good to talk about them because it's part of a lot of different uh cultures you know and uh especially in latin america mexico peru um and all of that like even brazil has some hot peppers and we we have so many different types of peppers and it's just amazing that that uh, some people don't even try them so, yeah <laughs> so some so something interesting mm -hmm. so this is six thousand years ago yep so just to to illustrate how long ago that was mm -hmm. here's some things that happened six thousand years 6, ago thousand years ago what so the early, 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 early form of writing, so proto-cuneiform in Mesopotamia was just mm -hmm. beginning. So wow. the Bronze Age was just beginning around that time, 4,000 years ago. Um, wow, so it was even before that. Yeah, so it was even before Ooh. that. Wow. Yeah, That's they crazy. just started domesticating horses in what? Ukraine around that time as so well. So they domesticated peppers before, before horses? horses? Ooh, man, I didn't know that. Yeah. That's crazy. So like That's it was crazy. Just, like the beginning of the Bronze Age, which is just That crazy. is amazing. That's amazing. So if you haven't tried some hot peppers or peppers in general, you should try because they're ancient. <laughs> and you know, <laughs> why not? Just give them a try. Yeah. Unless you have problems like ulcers i don't even know if that affects i think it would yeah 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 but if you're healthy just give it a try <laughs> yeah just give them a try okay so i see some comments let's see um rishi says i'm not sure about peppers being domesticated but i am domesticated to the peppers for long <laughs> <laughs> I can't have food without two chili, chilies, chilies and salad. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. I love Rishi's comments. Yeah. Like, they're hilarious. Uh, it, it's true. Like, a lot of people start in a really young age to eat hot peppers. <laughs> and yeah, I agree with you, Rishi. Sometimes the food doesn't taste the same if you don't have some pepper, you know, yeah. some hot well, pepper. Like I said, it especially adds, hot peppers. It adds like a, another another level. Yeah. Dimension. Yeah. Yeah, of flavor for sure. Uh, thank you for sharing, Rishi. William says, "Imagine the first humans to try them. Mmm, this burns my mouth." Let's cultivate it. <laughs> Let's cultivate it. Oh my God, that's amazing. I always, I always, I always wonder a lot of stuff like, like that. Mm. Who who decided, you know, let's do let's this keep doing good. this thing. Yeah. I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea if people just like the flavor or the spiciness or both or... Or if they were not as spicy, because sometimes it's they possible. Yeah, combine. They were made it spicier over yeah, the years. they do that, right? It's so possible, yeah. Yeah, who knows? Okay, uh, KS yeah, says some can't take some can't take the peppers. Yeah, I mean, no todos pueden comer picante. Comida picante. La comida picante es la mejor. Okay, so let's look at the next. Fact. I think it's fact number four or yeah, five. Four. Oh. No, five. <laughs> five, sorry. <laughs> Do you know that you can measure spicy? Yeah, that I knew. This is very common. Yeah. Um, this but I don't think. Scale. Yes, can you tell me how that works? 
I don't know the de the exact details, but like a bell pepper, I know is like a zero. Mm. So bell peppers mm. are like the base of the Scoville scale, and then it kind of goes up from there. I think like jalapenos are like somewhere like there between like <laughs> six hundred and two thousand or something like that, uh -huh. and then it just kind of goes up from there. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about this scale. You're correct. The Scoville scale is the scale that measures the spiciness in peppers. So this was developed by a pharmacist named Wilbur Scoville. Okay, so Scoville, this guy wanted a standard measurement with which to compare peppers, pepper hotness. Okay, but the only way that he found to actually do this is by human taste. The tongue could detect lower concentrations of capsi capsaicin, cap capsaicin. capsaicin that machine that machines could could not, I assume. So uh, the way they used to perform this test was they would use dried peppers and they would soak them in alcohol and then diluted the you know the whole thing in sugar and water or sugar water <laughs> the, sh the solution is diluted more and more until a panel of five trained testers can no longer detect it so they probably start with less diluted and mm -hmm. then they dilute it more and more and until the the, per yeah, the person they, can't they taste that huh. uh, so that was in the past Okay, that was in the past. Now they use something else, but this, in in other words, the more dilution, you know, something needed or the whatever you're trying or tasting, the more dilution you needed to do, the more units of heat the pepper has. So the more times they dilute the mm -hmm. thing, the, the, spicier the spicier it is, it is. Which I have a, spicier it a is. really, really uh, <laughs> funny capsaicin story. What? So <laughs> for, for those who don't know mm -hmm. what capsaicin is, it's, capsaicin? it's like the essence of what oh. makes a pepper mm -hmm. hot. Mm -hmm. The soul, the, essentially, <laughs> and uh -huh. and you can extract that from a pepper. So one of one of my Ooh. friends, uh, one of like a guy he knew worked at Heinz, so mm -hmm. like the ketchup place. Well, they also make a bunch of hot sauces and stuff. So he worked mm -hmm. with powdered capsaicin. Okay, and he brought some once in a bag. Mm -hmm. for us to try okay and it is it has no flavor and no it flavor is whatsoever. just is it like a liquid thing no it's or a powder powder sorry like, there is liquid capsaicin but the powder is like the more pure oh my goodness and it has zero flavor and it is just pure agony Pain. yeah it is the hottest <clears throat> thing i have ever ever experienced like it was man that painful. sounds painful for sure it like you put it on your like so you, how tiny, much did you take tiny tiny like like, like on a pinch like on a pinch? toothpick no way like a One tiny grain? tiny 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 amount <gasps> and after about like three seconds your entire head <laughs> like your soul is like In suffering agony. yeah it oh is oh my goodness horrible oh my goodness and uh, the friend of mine he <laughs> like always liked eating spicy mm -hmm, stuff so mm -hmm. he wanted to try cooking with it so oh my god no when handling very spicy things the main the rule number one is don't touch your face and or anything. Yeah, wash your else. hands, wear gloves if you need to. Well, sometimes that doesn't help. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah. So he was cooking and he wanted to put some capsaicin into the food. Uh -huh. And so he opened the bag Poof. and he sneezed. 
my god. And no. the powder went no. onto his oh face. My god. Like in his eyes. <gasps> like I, we were my brother and I were in a different room and we heard him just like screaming from the oh kitchen. My god. And his face was like red like just like I never re knew like somebody could cry that much, that much? and just like snot oh, running dang. down his face like it was just <gasps> what did he do um I I don't remember I think he just like washed his face with milk basically like forever but, yeah but it was just like I uh, yeah I tried yeah. it and it was the worst thing I have ever tried in my life that's crazy that's crazy um <laughs> I mean, I think that's something stupid to do, to just even try that, or cook, or yeah. add it to your, whatever well, you're we cooking, like, stupid, oh so. my god, that's crazy. Um, usually when I feel very, like, like in pain, mm. if I eat too much pepper, hot pepper, I don't drink water. Yeah. I don't do anything. I don't I don't drink milk. I don't eat ice cream. Mm. What I do is I like I try to control that. Mm. And I just eat more food. No, oh, you know? with this like there more is... food. I know it's painful, <laughs> but if you're eating soup and you get like that, you know, mm. all desperate because of the spiciness, that can like hot hot stuff can hurt like hell yeah. like hell so if you feel that sensation like you're eating the sun uh just yeah. don't eat anything <laughs> hot uh i sometimes i uh, i usually don't do anything but i drink a little bit of water if i feel like yeah. but that's, a, that's yeah. a good uh good way to put it like honestly i kept saying and the closest description it would be you i ate the you sun <laughs> It was just pure, <laughs> pure fire, flavorless agony. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, so let's see. Let's see what you guys are saying. Do you want to read some comments? Okay. Okay. You never want to. Come on. That's all right. <laughs> that's all right. Uh, okay. So Rishi says. In India, if you can't handle spice, you are a laugh stock. Whoa. Yeah. Same in same in um in Mexico. Same in Mexico. Yeah, yeah, because every Mexican I would say I, I don't like to generalize, but a lot of Mexicans eat spicy food. Like it it's a must. <laughs> so I understand that for sure. Uh, Rishi also says, sure, we can measure spice level, not just in taste buds, but also in the butts. <laughs> Try eating a <laughs> lot of peppers and the next morning is hellfire or picante yeah. fire. <laughs> uh, let me tell you. That's true. That Yeah, yeah, that can be true. Yeah. And uh, although... I haven't had that experience of, you know, like ripping the walls just because <laughs> I'm in pain. But um, I've heard from people that, th yeah, they can have a bad time. They can even get diarrhea. And a lot of people that can't handle spicy, they they, ha they have the hiccups as well. Yeah. So I, don't, I don't get that. I've never had either. The, I don't the, know why. The hiccups or the, or the butt flames. Mm -hmm. It... <laughs> yeah, even like the, like I said, the worst spicy stuff I've had, I like it just hurt like hell and everything, and it hurts. crazy. It did sometimes it hurt my stomach, but it wasn't. Yeah, like, like I never, I never had like yeah, stuff. I never had like the runs or anything like that. Wow, was, that's crazy. Yeah. Uh, so KS says, but me, <laughs> that's an amazing comment, Rishi. By the way, I just wanna say that another, another great comment. Okay, KS, but me. Comida, para mi comida, con o sin pimienta, lo como y me encanta. Ok. Para mi comida, con o sin pimienta, lo como y me encanta. So, um, KS is indifferent about pepper, 
like black pepper, pimienta means pepper, like mm. black pepper, the oh. powder, right? Um, hot I'm, pepper is different, yeah, for black sure. Black pepper, like I'm indifferent to it in most scenarios, but sometimes like I just like go crazy with it. Yeah. It depends what it depends you're on, Yeah, it depends yeah. on what yeah, I mean. For eating. sure. Yeah. Uh, William says, oh, for sure, KS, some people are afraid of also, of also burning their outlets. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. I think all in moderation, guys. <laughs> right? That's like, I, that's my advice. Don't overeat spicy food. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, William, is it Rishi? says at William Lopez is it you talking to sugar astronaut what <laughs> I'm lost okay yes says una receta llamada chocolate caliente de cúrcuma un poco de pimienta negra tal vez cayena un jengibre también que yes is sharing a lot of good recipes sounds good sounds good so hot chocolate with um Turmeric, I think that's uh, the term in English. Also, a little bit of black pepper and cayenne. Cayenne. Cayenne powder and ginger. Ginger can be I spicy too. I hate ginger too. so much. I love ginger. I hate it. I love oh, ginger. I love all spices equally. I well, just, it's not the spiciness of it, it's the flavor that I don't like. I said spices. I, I love know, all but, spices. But I'm saying, yeah, oh, you're just ginger, saying I just hate the flavor of it. Same with wasabi. It's I don't like the flavor. Yeah. Well. Uh, so William, thank you for sharing. KS, that sounds very delicious. Uh, William says, Ed Rishi, did she say anything? Did I? Did, what? Uh, I what's happening? What's happening, guys? I'm lost. Did I miss something? <laughs> okay. So let's look at the next fact. So, did you know that peppers are good uh, are good source of vitamin C? Vitamina C. Yes. Did you know that? I believe you mentioned uh, it before. Yeah, I talk about food a lot. Uh, but yeah, it's true. You can have because the first thing that comes to your mind when we talk about vitamin C is what like oranges oranges right so let me tell you guys that there are a lot of different vegetables that have and fruit obviously that have a lot of vitamin c and this is just from uh you know the health perspective that i'm talking about this or health wise and um hot peppers bell peppers especially the red bell peppers they have a lot of vitamin c obviously if you cook them a lot they lose certain level of vitamin c if you eat them raw you get more vitamin c uh, so yeah if you're thinking about hey i need some vitamin c everybody needs vitamin c uh, you can add some peppers to your life and, and <laughs> that way you can get some vitamin c it's important to to have to get that vitamin every day yeah. so what a better way to get that than from food just get it from food so that's something that i just wanted to share with you guys if you're interested about uh vitamins and whatnot <laughs> so uh yeah anyway let's look at the next fact fact number seven i think yeah did you know that hot peppers may help breathe better? And this is something that uh, KS commented a few minutes ago. So hot peppers can help you breathe better. And do you know why? Clues are your sinuses, I'm guessing. <laughs> yes, that's exactly it. There is no mystery there. <laughs> um, you can if you have a stuffy nose you you can you can eat some hot peppers and that might help 
but the recommendation is if you feel unwell obviously go see your doctor first or just give your doctor a call i don't know how it works nowadays but uh yeah hot peppers can help with a stuffy nose and that's because the spiciness from peppers can help open things up and relieve congestion okay the peppers keep your mu mucus mucus how do you pronounce this mucus, mucus thin mucus thin and as a result lower your chances of sinus infection so it could be something to prevent maybe some sinus yeah, infection be, yeah. uh, so that is quite interesting guys and um the evidence about this is just anecdotal okay so <laughs> Don't don't think that this is a miracle cure. We're not saying that you should do this if you have a stuffy nose, but maybe you can prevent it. Yeah. Maybe can help a little bit uh, if you Might eat help with constipation too. Constipation? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Probably, but uh, the interesting thing about this is the stuffy nose that some people like they really see some something good some good results, you know yeah. So have you have you tried this before? No, no Because your nose is pretty stuffy all sometimes. the time <laughs> You can breathe only through one yeah, nostril. I, I mentioned that to a family <laughs> doctor and she was like, yeah, that's normal. That's, I'm no, like, I can't, is it though? can't be normal. I don't can't think it is. I mean, I really don't think it is. I'm going to mention it again next time. I can't believe that our doctor said that. Yeah, I mentioned it. She's like, yeah, that's normal. That's normal. Most people like that. I'm like, I don't think they are. No, I don't think it's normal. When I breathe, I use my both I, nostrils that's the normal thing yeah no. <laughs> so we should ask again yeah we should we should do something about it for sure okay so let's see what you guys are saying um ks says picante puede dar una patada en la garganta so sp spiciness can kick your throat I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, it feels sometimes like somebody's kicking your yeah. your throat. <laughs> For sure. Uh, okay, so... KSS, I use ginger with everything. Uso jengibre con todo. Jengibre, delicious. You can use it uh, for teas. You can add add that to your... I don't know, if you're doing some stir fry or something like that. Some spicy noodles you can add ginger oh my god it's amazing <laughs> you're crazy you're crazy you don't, just, like, don't ginger. like ginger <laughs> i agree with ks yeah just use use ginger with everything <laughs> that's amazing okay rishi says i'm not sure but i feel the melanin in the skin is directly proportional to the spice handling browner the person more the effect affectionate to picante <laughs> <laughs> just say it no offense uh yeah it could happen yeah i mean you know, I, I don't know i don't cor think correlation <laughs> doesn't always equal causation but uh I, it's possible I think that could be a conspiracy <laughs> theory <laughs> right yeah. there um i know a lot of people that do not eat spicy food in mexico so that is something crazy and uh and they i mean <laughs> i never thought of that about being brown or whatnot like i don't see <laughs> colors <laughs> and uh, but it's funny it's it's funny <laughs> maybe i don't know <laughs> william lopez says no lo sabia okay i think it's time to switch my oranges to pepper juice oh my <laughs> goodness or maybe you can mix both Make a smoothie, orange, jalapenos, yeah. oatmeal, yeah. blueberries. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, tonight, there like everybody on the chat 
like they're hilarious yeah. right now <clears throat> that's amazing i love it um okay so william also says at rishi sugar is not a good example what <laughs> Are they still talking about something that we I missed completely? I don't know. Or an oh, example about the... Was it the browner, the person? Maybe. Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't... Uh, yeah, I, I don't think that has to do with, <laughs> <laughs> with eating spicy. Do you know someone like that eats spicy, like really spicy, mm -hmm. but besides me? my dad oh yeah your dad he likes but yeah. does he like like really spicy food yeah really spicy yeah like how spicy i don't know spicy i don't <laughs> i don't eat his food i don't know but what kind of pepper like whatever whatever peppers he has <laughs> okay <laughs> no details there well i don't Let's know i haven't, that I haven't lived spicy. at home in a long time so <laughs> No, and do you know where he got that from? Like, I don't know, he's just, he just he's always always like, eating spicy yeah, because he's like because spicy the stuff. mysterious voice. He is from Serbia, so yeah. I didn't know. I mean, you mentioned that in Serbia people don't eat spicy. Well, they, they have, you you have, have hot, hot peppers, sauces, but we had yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's interesting. I didn't yeah. know that. There you go. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's continue to the next fact. <laughs> what am I saying? Fat? <laughs> <laughs> the next fact. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Um, I think it's number nine. Did you know that pepper spice is a defense or defense mechanism? Do you know this? Did you know this? Because I didn't. No. I didn't. Like, makes but sense, do you know? Though. But it, you might think maybe it's a defense mechanism against us eating peppers. Mm. But actually, it's against pest insects. Oh. Yes. And I'm going to tell you why it kind of makes sense because we already said that uh, mammals feel you know spiciness mm. from hot peppers but not birds or other kinds of animals but when it comes to pests and insects um, peppers protect themselves from that because insects usually like to poke holes in the skin of fruits and anything that is growing, right? Fruits mm. and vegetables. And as a result, harmful fungi can make their way in. To combat, to combat this, a pepper's capsaicinoids, I assume that's the term, mm -hmm. can slow the growth of the microbes. So oh. I also read about this that um, I believe, I think, don't believe me, but I think uh, hot peppers can um, kill kind of like fungi and all of that. Um, but I'm not sure. But the important thing about this is the capsize, how do you mm. say that again? Capsaicin. C capsaicin is used by the plants or by the peppers uh -huh. to fight uh, infection, infectious okay. fungi and all so of that. So if you're out in the wild and you cut yourself? Actually, yes. Yeah, just rub a, rub a jalapeno yeah, there, in there. There was a fact that I didn't include that was about that, that yeah. it could be something like a Band-Aid, na nature's Band-Aid. But obviously, don't do that. <laughs> just... Just use a band-aid, but uh, I don't know. I didn't look into that so like a lot, but uh, it's interesting that capsaicin is so yeah. helpful for for killing fungi or just not repel insects in in that way. They don't in that way they don't yeah, that's really get neat. fungi. Yeah. Hmm. Also, something very interesting is that scientists have found that peppers growing in areas with a lot of insects tend to be much spicier than others living in more bug-free zones. Wow. 
because it only makes sense. Because of, yeah. yeah. So the more bugs you get in the area, the spicier the, spice, the, the, spicier the yeah. pepper is going to be. So that is something very interesting, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, I love that. I love that. And uh, lastly, I don't have the fact here, like the transition or the screen that you saw with the fire and all of that. But another in interesting fact is that chipotle, do you know chipotle? Don't this know it, yes. pepper? Yeah. Chipotle and jalapeno, both are the same pepper. Oh, how? They, they don't even, they don't look alike though. I know, but jalapenos are, you know, like picked up before you know like bef oh, before they get red okay and then once they ma mature more they become the other they one. become oh, chipotle and also they prepare chipotles differently mm -hmm. so if you like chipotle that's like something that i love i love chipotle sauce and just chipotles um they're actually jalapenos <laughs> So <laughs> that oh, is something yeah, amazing. That's really cool. I didn't know that. That's amazing. Uh, okay, so let's read what the guys are saying, and that would be it. That would be it. Okay, so let's see. Mm, James Sager, hola. Hello, James. <laughs> Welcome. Hola. Hola, back to you. <laughs> Rishi says, not sure about better breathing, but fast breathing for sure. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. When you eat spicy food, hot peppers in general, oh my God. You can feel that sensation <laughs> if you do it too much, if you eat too much hot peppers. But man, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Um, KS says, orange juice to pepper juice wow <laughs> william that is breathtaking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. breathtaking man man do you think there is like a recipe for jalapeno smoothie as a you know green smoothie Probably. healthy smoothie i don't know I think why it, but probably i think it's better to make salsas you yeah. know, because you kind of use the bl the blender for that. So if you put uh, cilantro, cebolla, well, that's in Spanish, cilantro, cebolla, or onion. Cilantro is cilantro or coriander. Uh, cebolla, onion, um, green tomatillo or tomatillo, tomatillo. Uh, also, a lot of jalapenos, like one or two. Uh, a lot of that's not a lot <laughs> oh, for some people <laughs> for some people one or two uh, and that is oh, garlic salt and a little bit of water and that is an amazing salsa yeah. you blend blend that to perfection and <laughs> that is an amazing salsa so that's our salsa smoothies salsas smoothies um, <laughs> kind of right I you don't drink them at once, but like no, because you don't. Cup. I think because you don't drink them, I would say they're not. Because just because you blend it doesn't make it a smoothie. Yeah. You know because like. Yeah. You can. I think so. Yeah, you can blend yeah. anything. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's not yeah. a smoothie. Anyways, I think we should do a recipe. Stay tuned because in the future we might have recipes and we might go to the kitchen and all and just we can cook something together. I think that will be a great thing to do for a podcast episode, yeah. right? Yeah. So, by the way, William, I replied your email. <laughs> just <laughs> FYI. Whenever you get a chance, no hurry, no pressure. So, uh, yeah, because William will be joining us for a podcast episode mm -hmm. this month, hopefully this month, and uh, because he he is February's winner. Yeah. Wow. yeah, he won like three times or something like that, if I'm correct, three times or so. So, yeah, he guessed a lot of Spanish words. <laughs> and first, because that's how you win nice. um, every time we play a, a, or we do a crossword puzzle. By the way, tomorrow, guys, we have a 
crossword puzzle and this was suggested by you we're gonna do a crossword puzzle crossword puzzle about easter the easter celebration la pascua uh, ks suggested this so i hope you can join us uh, or join me because the mysterious oh, voice is gonna be work. busy <laughs> yeah. so guys let's see what else you're, you're saying on the comments just a few minutes more and uh let's see and then that would be it okay so k william ha 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 ks literally yeah <laughs> ks enfermedad o sentirse bien te de jengibre es bueno para añadir black peppercorns okay so uh ginger tea a ginger tea if you feel unwell and black peppercorns wow that's interesting for sure thank you for sharing uh ks uh william lopez says i used to think that verde amarillo y rojo bell peppers were different but they're they're actually the same yes that's correct the difference is when they you know they gather or mm. they take them out of the plant they or how do you say different it? times harvest harvest yeah man i forgot that it's late yeah it's late <laughs> so yeah so the green ones they, they're harvest first then uh yellow later and then red are the last ones yeah for sure that's something interesting william for sure ks mi próxima carrera debería ser un chef que no sé oh ks wants to be a chef nice <laughs> that would be great that would be great for sure rishi don't ever tell a mexican that salsa is a smoothie that will be your last day <laughs> but if i'm a mexican maybe it's okay to say that to joke <laughs> to joke about salsas or not even I don't know. I don't I'm know. I think, it, yeah, I think it's okay. I think yeah. it's okay. But uh, yeah, if you're not a Mexican, that might be a problem <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Uh, thank you, Rishi, for uh, <laughs> your comments. They were they were like totally great. <laughs> que yes, I ate some salsa. Uso un poco de culantro <laughs> y cilantro. Culantro. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> weird, <laughs> but maybe it's it's a. Uh, vegetable i don't know <laughs> anyways uh william looking forward to it we'll reply the email soon at at the logo sugar okay thank you william <laughs> that's awesome you guys were great like tonight interacting when, uh, with us and yeah. you know like just sharing your thoughts i loved it um thank you once again for tuning in remember that tomorrow we have the crossword puzzle around 5 30 or 6 p.m eastern eastern time uh so yeah something like that if you want to get notified remember to hit that bell icon and activate all the notifications notifications so you actually get notified about our live streams okay well thank you again give this video a like if you enjoyed it uh thank you again for tuning in be safe and take care of yourself and i'll read you to more um, anything else you would like to say i'm sorry <laughs> that's okay it was just uh, nice to see new people on and yeah yeah for sure everybody participating it's really cool so yeah, yeah um yeah and thank you once again to our members ks is a cerveza yeah. member and william as well thank you so much guys for the support everybody yeah and even just for watching yeah 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 as so. well like yeah you are amazing we love you yeah. <laughs> okay take eat, care of your eat some spicy stuff yeah eat some eat some spicy stuff <laughs> a little bit little by little okay take care bye bye adios